Okay, so Jilly, you see Brad Womack, Womack there, right? The Bachelor? I do, and he is a cutie. <laughs> what did his lips say about him? Well, the thing is, is that I, I'm not reading when I'm looking at your mouth. I, I can look at his mouth and I can tell you what, what it would say if, in fact, it printed the way that they look. Because he has no upper lip, okay? I'm sorry. This is not, you know, you wouldn't think that it would print full, but it, but it might. Uh, and so let's just say that it does print thin. That would say that he's picky, picky, picky. And, and if he's trying to pick out a, a bachelorette for himself, he's going to be very, very particular. And it's going to have to be someone who really fills all of his ideas of what that dream person is. So I would say it might be difficult for him to make a decision. The fullness of his lower lips look like it would print a lot fuller on, uh, than his upper lip print. Would, which would say that, that he, he is really wonderful with children and pets. And that they really, children really love him. Pets haven't come up yet on the show. And, they probably will. and that he could be a writer, a speaker, an entertainer himself of some kind. You get all of that just from looking at lips? I do. I do. You'd be a good dinner date. <laughs> That's right. But first you have to put lipstick on and say hello to the paper yeah. <laughs> and kiss it. A full analysis. Before I know for sure what's you know what what I'm gonna learn about you. Sweet. All right. She also said I had cheerleader lips. <laughs> I like it. Cheerleader lip prints. You are my rah-rah man is what that means. That says that you have lots of energy, leadership qualities, good at getting other people to buy into your ideas. That's right, you could be dangerous is how I look at that. Danger. Dangerous. No, I'm a man of danger. You could own your own business, you could be on a board of directors, you at least have other people working for you. <laughs> That's it. I expect big things from you.